In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import inventory adjustments from text or Excel files into QuickBooks Point of Sale using Z-axis. So let's just have a look in QuickBooks to see how they work. So within QuickBooks, you can make adjustments either to the quantity or to the cost. That will have an impact either on the quantity on hand or on the average unit cost of the item. For example, you might be doing a stock take and you need to make adjustments to quantities. You might be returning defective goods to vendors or you might be recording shrinkage or theft within your business. In which case, you might have a spreadsheet or a text file that contains a lot of that detail. Now I'm going to show you how you can import that data from the text or Excel file directly into QuickBooks point of sale using Z-axis. So the first step in the process is to open Z-axis on your desktop and connect to your QuickBooks point of sale file. Next, we click on the Import tab and browse to the file that contains the inventory adjustments that we're going to import into QuickBooks. In this case, I'm going to do some quantity adjustments, and this is a sample file that I've created previously. So you can see in this file, the first row contains a header column, and this is a description of what's held within each column within the file. And then underneath that are repeating details of the inventory adjustments that we're going to do. So we do have sample templates of these files held on our website. So if you need, you can download those from the support articles that they're attached to. So next, what I'm going to do is create a mapping. So this is telling Z-axis that these columns should be matched to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks point of sale. So I got up here, I select add new mapping. I'm going to select the transaction type as inventory quantity adjustment. And now I'm going to go through the process of map matching the QuickBooks point of sale fields to the columns in my import file. So now I've completed the matching process. The main points within this mapping screen is that we make sure that we've mapped the fields marked in yellow. These are the mandatory fields and the minimum ones that are required to create an inventory adjustment within QuickBooks point of sale. If you need assistance with understanding what all these fields are, if you click on this blue link here, it will open up a web page on our website that contains detailed information about how to import, as well as all the fields that can be mapped and what data is expected for each of those fields. So going back to our mapping, once we've completed the mapping process, we'll give the mapping a name so that we can use on subsequent imports into QuickBooks point of sale. And we'll click Save. Now you'll notice in this grid, only the columns that we've mapped will be displayed. So the final step in the process is to click the Import button. Access will validate the data and will begin an import of that directly into your QuickBooks point of sale file. So at the end, you'll see a summary of how many records were imported. It will also include, if there were any errors, an error message to, to help you understand what may have been wrong so you can re-attempt an import. So now let's switch to QuickBooks point of sale and look at some of those quantity adjustments that we just brought in. So there we can see all the additional quantity adjustments that we just imported. So that's very simply how you can import quantity adjustments or cost adjustments from text or Excel files in batch into QuickBooks point of sale using Z-axis.